Welcome to the show. He claims. <laughs> ah, see, that happens to us scandal holics. He claims to be the leader of the number one white racist organization in the world, so I guess he works for Denny's. We're just kidding, Denny's. <laughs> Please welcome the Reverend Matt Hale. Matt? <laughs> How you doing, sir? She's a controversial performance artist. Her new show, Pooh Unplugged, is at the, the track. 16 Gallery in Santa Monica, now through March 16th. Karen Finley, our old friend. Hey, how are you, baby? You look gorgeous. He's a political consultant and former Clinton confidant. His book is Behind the Oval Office, Getting Reelected Against All Odds. Dick Morris. <laughs> how are you, Dick? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. His movies include Star Eddie and Runaway Train. His new one, Lensky, premieres this Saturday on HBO. Eric Roberts, right over here. How are you? Good to get you here. Thank you. How are you? All right. Now, Eric, Dick, this is the closest I'm going to get to kissing Julia Roberts, so, you know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> See, that's why you got only, uh, only slightly more applause than the white supremacist, Dick. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Well, let's get right at that. Very, it's very rare that we have someone on the show who actually is the issue. But you have caused a lot of controversy. You are Reverend Matt Hale. You are, you are the Pontifex Maximus. Am I getting that right? Yes, we use the Latin title for Prime Minister. and that's You are the that Pontifex is. Maximus of the World Church of the Creator. And you say you are a racist, white supremacist, and not ashamed to say it. That's right. Wow. Um, the controversy is that you passed the bar in Illinois, and now they will not let you be a lawyer, even though you passed the bar because of your political beliefs. And the... <laughs> <laughs> See, they love you. <laughs> uh, and the, the issue is, should there be a political litmus test for becoming a lawyer? Because uh, Alan Dershowitz is on your side. The Anti-Defamation League is actually on your side because right. they say... It is a slippery slope. If we start saying people can't be a lawyer because of his beliefs, however they extreme they are, where will it end? Well, I think that the state of Illinois has every right to deny you to be an attorney because you cannot uphold the laws of Illinois. And well, I, yes, I can. No, I don't uh, think you can by uh, your beliefs. Attorneys have views and all the time. You didn't that pass. Differ with current Let her talk. Let her talk, and then you can speak. They, Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Let her talk, and then you can speak. Go ahead. Okay. Is, see, you're not a very good attorney. You should have jumped right in there. <laughs> there that is the reason Wait why... Wait a minute. I'm scared of Eric Roberts, too. I mean, to be fair. <laughs> well, good attorneys should practice good etiquette, uh, good manners when they can. But why, you, why do you say he can't? Because that, that's the reason why, besides... Uh, passing the bar, there's also passing a code of ethics, and you did not pass that. As a matter of that. fact, I took reason... the ethics exam in Illinois and scored 45 well, out of 50 was... questions what, correct. What, there is what a you're form. trying to say, darling, is this. Uh, there's a law that says in order to be a member of the bar, you have to be for equal justice for every man. You're obviously That's not. not true. You That's have, not true. You have... No. Uh, it says equal justice for every man, and the only reason that I see to have you in a court of law is as a defendant. Well, as a matter of fact, yeah. oh, a, great, a great attorney in this country named Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was an attorney before he became president. He was as racist as I am. He advocated sending blacks back to Africa, as it a matter of fact. It was 1860 when he lived. It was not 19. However, we have the right under the Constitution to believe as we choose. And if you don't like my beliefs, that's your business. But to say that the Illinois, the state of Illinois has to uh, have a litmus test for each lawyer if they believe in certain I'm views. I'm all for your beliefs, and, and, and you should always have them. But as a stutterer, am I going to be treated with any less equal justice in a court of law? There are am laws I, in Illinois, am I, of course. Am I? Guaranteeing Am I, I going to be, treated with, am I gonna be treated with any less equality in a court of law because I stutter? You are treated equally in, right. in Illinois, Right, but I'm not black. That's what you're saying, right? If there's if any evidence man, that I... You can't be treated equally. That's I where you're at. The, uh, Am I correct? I think that his views 
Uh, first of all, let me make two things clear. First of all, I think of your views. They are sphinctus avius. That's uh, Latin for fly. <laughs> Second, there are many people that second, agree with me. The good thing is that I'm, I speak my mind. Most people are racist in some me, way or other. Let me go on. But they deny it. I we think have second, hypocrites everywhere think, that deny their racism. I, think, I do not deny I think second, it. Most I think people. secondly, it is very hard to conceive of anything that could demean the practice of law. <laughs> <laughs> but having said that, I believe that you should be admitted to practice law. Uh, I think that... It takes one to know one, it takes one to defend one. And I think that racists, be they pigs or not, are entitled to a defense attorney. Well, the fact of the matter... Uh, He's also arrested for a felony, and so there's other reasons besides that. Actually, no, that was not part well, of the, the decision bio that, that I read. Made. Yes, but they I go no into your character. You have to go through an intense... Uh, looking into your background and looking into your background and your history, it's not one that makes for an attorney. I've been arrested been for exercising freedom of speech, yes. Uh, certainly, I burned an Israeli flag in 1990. Yes. I'm proud so of that, that during the Persian Gulf not War. Go for being uh, an attorney. That you think yeah. Yeah. Since I'm sitting next to you, could you just tell me if what you have is catching? <laughs> we'll take a commercial, we'll come back. All right, I want to get into this just a little more, and I'm not going to challenge everything you said, but you did say that we're hypocrites, which is true. People are hypocrites. But I don't know yeah. to the degree that you may think, because uh, you say hate is natural and real. Oh, yes, it is. It's very natural, and we should not try to uh, put it in a dustbin, etc. It is... But why the... would we want to cultivate it as one? And they also, you, you seem to think that Jews and blacks are inferior, but the very profession you want to go into, the law... Uh, there's a couple of Jews in that, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I mean, how could, they, people, how could they be inferior if they people, dominate the profession you want to get in? Well, white people who are proud of their race and their culture need to go back into the courtroom and need to assert themselves in the legal manner for their own interests. How does that answer my question? It doesn't. Well, the fact of the matter is that... I said, I mean... Why, if Jews are inferior, how come well, they... I don't think we've ever said that Jews are mentally inferior. What we say is, let's take care of our own people, let's take care of our own culture, uh, and as far as the... Well, that's the whole idea, then, no, why you... you shouldn't be in the law, because you're saying you want to take care of your own well, people, and the idea of the state of Illinois is to take care of, of all and the... You state of Illinois, Illinois. And you have no, said Jews and blacks thing. are inferior. State of Illinois, but a private attorney has no obligation to believe the races are equal. It's ludicrous. Now, what they are supposed to do... We can believe whatever we want on that subject, as long as we don't try to do actively to... deprive people of their rights, which we do not. So the, the fact of the matter is you can have all kinds of views of being an attorney, whether you like it or not. You may disagree with my morals. I disagree with your morals. But there is a constitution. The First well, Amendment does not go into simple. one's moral views being better than another person's it's, moral views. It's very simple. What you're doing is <laughs> exploiting the democratic process to What's a fake to laugh if I ever heard one? Of, to make... Oh! Actually, the anger is coming the break, out now. They came around and they put powder on all of our noses and they put talcum powder on him. Uh, <laughs> I have one question for the Reverend. Yes. Have you ever considered, uh, or are you considering, uh, donating your brain to science? <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't address my arguments and the facts. Oh, I you don't, address you don't your want arguments. to address them. I did address them. your arguments. Is oh, there anything on. I left out? Because I'd be glad to. to something else. I'd be glad to get I, that. I am a very ethical uh, person. I believe I, in law. I believe in following the law. And I will as an attorney. I will become an attorney whether the peanut gallery likes it or not. You're not an ethical person. To because be a white supremacist is hardly ethical, my dear. Uh, uh, many right. people are. They just don't admit it. Uh, I think I show more talking about you. By admitting We're talking it. about you and your Show me evidence that the races are equal. Show me any kind of proof whatsoever that each individual of each race is equal to the other. One race has done more on this planet than the rest of the races combined. You know it, everyone knows it, but no one has the guts to admit it. What are you talking about? The Egyptians you're talking about? Yes. The Egyptians were Greek, were Greek immigrants into Egypt. Egypt is a Greek name. Cleopatra, what was she? A Greek person. You know, it, you know what bothers but the me? But Egyptians were white. Me about Man, the they were so white people. people. What no, bothers me about the... 99% of everything you celebrate, the cameras to the radio to everything, was created by white people. You should be ashamed of your stance. You should be ashamed Matt, you should, of putting Matt, your you race should, in the gutter with the, with the savages Matt, of you Africa. Should find, you should find yourself a new gig. 
Uh, the state of Illinois is right. What do you, uh, right. Matt, what do you, you live at home with your mom now, you? don't you? What do you do? That's just... You say you want to stick to the facts. You live at home with your mom. No, I don't. Oh, that's, not that's that. what I read. Look, no, not yeah. I think that I you think do have that take this. sexual problem. I would like too. us to well, take this. Well, look at you. I'd yeah, like what you do. I'd like to take this to a discussion where we could talk about something okay. serious as opposed to give this maniac a platform. Uh, oh, I, I think that's all we hear. I think that Figures working we should get to the We should get to the next question. Okay. which we were going to discuss here, which I we, think is a serious one, which is hate crimes. Right. And I think that it is terribly dangerous to take a crime and punish the intent behind it rather than the actual act itself. Yeah. If somebody kills somebody, they should get the same sentence whether they're motivated by robbery or by hate. And I think that no. that's, a, that's a very dangerous thing to do. In Britain, I was just over there. They are actually. I have to interrupt. I totally okay, we have to take a break. For okay, a I'm bit. sorry. Bill, right, let's, let's, uh, I, I'd just like to say something, Dick. I think Dick? I, I appreciate being on this show, but I think it is irresponsible of this show to permit him to have a platform to demean people, to spread hate, and Good. a Luke message never to that. The it truth is, is never demeaning. I disagree with you because I think sunlight is the best disinfectant. The truth is never demeaning. And this is sunlight. Yeah, but if, but there are... What I love about this show is to have all the different points of view. That's why I come on. Jews exactly. Are watching that's us, the point of And the... they should not have to... But Dick, uh, that's censorship. ...immerse themselves in this. That's censorship, and you are time. arguing that he should be allowed to practice law, he should, he but we should, should censor him on TV? He should no, be allowed in the courtroom, but not be, the TV? He shouldn't be censored, but we shouldn't take advantage of a show that has the reputation and the ratings that this one Literally does... Literally incorrect. ...to I give him what an opportunity this is. No, uh, Dick, to I don't, spread hate. Well, I disagree with you, it's, obviously. It's Trump, also, right? it's an entertainment show. I mean, yes, it's news, we're talking about this, and people want it. Here and see the different points of view. But We're laughing. You know, agree it's with like, what we're doing. <laughs> Let's, it's, it's, you know what's disturbing to me is that somehow the left and the right wing have switched, and the left wing is now the censors. There's no That's greater true. censorship than on college campuses. That's right. They do not want, if you disagree with them, they don't want to hear it. If you say something that's politically Where incorrect. Where's the white student union, for example, on a college campus? Why, would, why do we have black students? It's the student government. <laughs> but it's not for the interest of white people. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Playtex Maximus, but that is because <laughs> the white people are the majority. You know, we are not a minority, even though We're you, you are, obviously have had such a troubled life. We're becoming that, that, though. We're becoming a minority? White people well, in 50 years, white people, white people will, unless we change the and current type. White people are 81% of what's America's no, population. No, they're not white people. They, if they are. 12, if you knew your facts. 12% black, 9% no. Hispanic, 3% Asian, 78% Oh, there's white. a lot more Asians than 3% in this country. Uh-oh, you, uh -oh, if you if better you, move. If you anybody better, would you know, better move, dig a hole, baby. Okay? You know that. <laughs> you know that. The Asian. It doesn't matter anyway. I mean, but really. My question was going to be, you're, you call yourself a reverend. I am Aren't an ordained minister. are there too many people who get people. to call themselves yeah, reverend? What could the qualifications be? I mean, be? I have a, a church, and I have many a thousand church, people But that's what I'm saying. Shouldn't we have stronger regulations on who gets to be a church? Who gets to say I'm a reverend? How do you get to be a reverend? So what do you have to have get a back for all church. the people out there? Get him out of the church! Who are He's interested and who but refuse to believe this political correct show that we have here. Oh. In East Peoria, Illinois. We will get thousands of letters but from this show. Is your you church may not like tax it. exempt? Of course. Your church is tax... See, there you is something wrong you know what? with when America I when th that law. When you can have a tax-exempt church. That's I mean, I think reason, all churches should be taxed. Another reason why I cannot be barred from, from practicing law, because it would be based on my religious views. That's obviously a violation I of... Think but that anybody can say anything is a religious view. Like, well, we have our own I, book, I, The I White Man's Bible. This is, not the Matt Hill show, though. this is not the Matt Hill show, though. So let's move on to another question. I like it. I want to get out of you get sick. You said you got physically sick when you saw a black man kiss a white woman. It's disgusting. Okay, you Absolutely. get sick to your stomach. So you mean, if a stopped. black woman was to come and kiss you like Whitney Houston was to on you, it you would, would puke. Right? Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, they're disgusting. You, uh, you it, have other problems. It is a form problems. of bestiality. You have other problems. And it should not be done. You Look, have I think other problems. In nature, That's you do not see it. You do not see blue cardinals, nor should you see okay, let's mixed move on because this is, the, this is becoming well, the mad no, hill I think, out. I think there are a couple of interesting thoughts that we should discuss that are topics you be that he's the raising. Every state in this country, I think the first way, thing I think the first thing is well, that one of the tremendously you, positive well, things that's go ahead, see, going on in this country. I knew this show one of the positive about, things that's you know. going on in this country is that increasingly the racial distinctions are being blurred. Three percent of all marriages are interracial. One out of every four black marriages are interracial. And in the last analysis, the only way we're going to become a pluralistic democracy is Tomorrow by relax. permitting a, 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 plura, a, plura, a pluralism the the within future. our society. Well, and, and, eventually, and I think the second thing that's very positive Jack, is that speak? racism is down. <laughs> it's better than him talking. That racism is down. Let, let's face facts. That, uh, that there is a is closing every country that's of the white it. and black wage gap. There's a closing in the gap between the rich and yeah, the poor. Yeah, we're all becoming served. There are increasing educational levels among we're blacks and Hispanics. Poor. And I think the tremendously positive Super thing about this country poor. is that racism is down. And his views 50 years ago were the majority point of view in 12 or 13 states. Actually, now we, we're now rising. Now he's a marginalized moron that uh, we take The matter, I'm on the okay. show because I am a major figure in a major movement. You're and not you a major not like figure, it. but you, you were like it, very big in the news this week because they wouldn't allow you to become a lawyer, and that's a legitimate issue. The rest yes, of what is. you espouse is garbage. We all agree well, on that. We were trying to get to the issue. Angeles area and would like free tickets to politically incorrect call 323-575-4321 Okay, folks, thank you for your patience. I want to plug your movie again because I love your work. Lansky coming up on HBO, a Jew who excelled in his field. <laughs> Monday, we're going to have James Spear and John DeResta, Michael Medved, and Jeffrey Tubin. And no talk about race. <laughs>